Hello, my name is Craig Newman, and I'm going to uh, take you through a quick vi video tutorial on how to get a sound slides project from your computer to your uh, website. This, in this case, it's a, a WordPress hosted site. And this is going to uh, start from the uh, idea that you've already had a sound slides project that you've exported to your computer and you're ready to go. So I happen to have one in here. And it is, as many of yours will be called, published to web is the folder that you're looking for. And if you look in there, it's got some uh, basic files, some sizes, there's a uh, flash component that's been created when you export. You don't need to really care about any of that. But I would suggest that you change the name on this folder from published to web because you're going to be doing several of these probably so you don't want to clutter up your uh, your FTP site with all these similarly named files so I'm going to call this con oops, uh, Conan web call it anything you want as long as you know what it is it makes sense to you so here's the folder that I am going to send to my uh, web host and I'm going to use FileZilla to do it. There's a number of FTP applications you may be using, anywhere from Dreamweaver to Cyberduck to a number of things in the PC world. I think most of us are going to try and be using FileZilla to some extent, so FileZilla is what I'm working with here. Go ahead and log on. And here I have found my site's uh, root folder, craigmnewman.com. Go ahead and open that up. And I have created a folder in here called Sound Slides, which is for guess what? Sound Slides projects. I'll open that. You can see there's nothing in there right now. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this folder. Oops. Going nuts. Going nuts. Let's try that again. Grab my Conan Web folder and drag it over. This is going to take just a moment because it's not a terribly large folder full of files. Let's take a look here. It's only 3.7 megs, but it is a ton of files. This is going to go quicker, obviously, the faster your, your uh, web access is. And tick-tock, tick-tock. Okay, there we go. So once it's all done, you're going to see your folder show up wherever it is you're dragging it. If you don't have a sound slides folder, you could put it in your WP content folder, for instance. You could just float it in there. Um, you know, obviously creating a sound slides folder helps to uh, keep things a little more clear. So, if you're on a PC, you can right click on this. If you're on a Mac, do a control click and you're going to get a drop down menu and go ahead and copy URLs to clipboard. And from that point, we are done with Mr. FileZilla and you're going to need to open up a web browser. Alright. So, I have preloaded up the SoundSlides embed utility, which is uh, tools.soundslides.com slash embed. Uh, you might already have that bookmarked. If you don't, I would suggest bookmarking it. And where it says slideshow URL, go ahead and click on that space and do a paste. And you're going to see all the stuff that you just copied off of uh, your uploaded folder. And towards the end, you're going to see your blog name, .com or .net or whatever, slash sound slides, slash the name of your project. That's basically all you need out of all this junk. So highlight the first half of it, and you can get rid of it, and replace it with an HTTP colon backslash backslash www dot. And then hit continue. All right, and it's going to give you a preview screen there for what the what your sound slides project would look like if embedded as is. And this current one is 620 pixels wide. You can see down here by 533, and you can see that in the embed code as well. That's going to be a little bit large for what I need, um, so I'm going to change it to 400 by 307. Let's say, and then click modify, and that'll change the code. You can see that here it changed the embed code so that the size is reflected in your change. Go ahead and get that embed code. Just highlight all, copy, and then head over to your dashboard, which I have already logged into. Now I'm going to add a new post. Actually, that's not true. 
I am going to edit a post because I've already posted uh, a similar tutorial, but the video was bad, so I'm just going to replace the embed code. All right, so here is my post from earlier. You can see right here, this is where the, the uh, item was. And you want to do this in the HTML screen up here. The visual screen just won't work. Uh, this is kind of a bad example because I'd already put the item in. But if you were to paste that code into the visual screen, uh, all you would get is the code looking like a block of unreadable text. It has to be done in HTML. So I'm going to get rid of all this junk. Oh, there's some more junk. Make sure it's all gone. And paste in. And I'm just going to check. Yep, there's 400 by 307, 400 by 307, 400 by 307. Uh, the size on these type of embeds often shows up in more than one place. And you can change the size once you've already grabbed the code, but you have to make sure and do it uniformly unless it's a YouTube video, but we'll get into that at another time. So, I'm going to preview my changes real quick. Which will just take a second for it to generate. And you can see here is my sound slides project. And it looks like it's going to be okay. So I'll go ahead and hit update in this case because I've already posted this item. If this were a brand new post, it would say publish, and you would click that same button in the same spot. And there are, it looks like it's saved through, so I'll head over to my site, and I'll do a little rearranging here. And here is my sound slides. Looks like it's working OK. So there you go. You've published a sound slides folder, or a sound slides project. Congratulations. We'll have some more of these video tutorials covering various other things um, throughout the uh, quarter.